Oh, hello there. My name is the Real Blue Dragon, and this is a PlayStation 3. Today, I want to start playing a game which was extremely uh, informative for me. Influential, you might even say. Uh, that came out in 2006. It's an RPG from Bethesda, and at the time, it was incredible. It has aged extremely poorly since then. Um, it has been, God, 12 years since this game came out. It's kind of nuts. Um, and it is, of, of course... The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now, this is the reason I'm playing the PlayStation 3 version. Um, so I have the PC version. I have it. Um, but there's like a weird bug. Or, oh, that's right. Ubisoft published Bethesda's games at one point <laughs> before they started publishing themselves. Um, so the reason I'm playing the PS3 version is because the PC version has a weird bug where it will not run on computers with multiple displays. It refuses to. It will not run. It just it, it can't do it. It's a weird oversight that no one thought you know, no one thought about in 2006. So I feel like multiple displays is a thing that wasn't really as common as it is now back in 2006 so and the way I like to do these videos the way I like to record stuff is with multiple displays because I like to have a full screen on one monitor and a recording on the other monitor and I can't do that if I have to full screen Oblivion over OBS because I like to be able to know exactly what my audio levels are. I like to, I like to be able to transition stuff like that, and so that I'm um, now. Some people might say, "Well, the obvious answer there is to get two PCs and have one PC play the game, and then you run the HDMI out from the game PC into the capture PC." And no, I'm not. No, this is not a professional setup. I I don't know. Mm -mm. Listen, I live quite comfortably. Uh, I've got a nice computer. I am not the sort of crazy person to invest in multiple powerful PC. Well, powerful PC. You don't need a powerful PC to run Oblivion anymore, but you know what I mean, right? No. So for convenience sake, I'm running it on the second best version of the game, the PlayStation 3 Game of the Year Edition. Now... The PlayStation 3 version of the game, I believe, has faster loading than the Xbox 360 version, has um, better textures than the Xbox 360 version, and I believe is slightly less buggy than the Xbox 360 version. Still kind of buggy, but you know, that's just how the pit, you know. The PS3 version ended up being a slightly more well-rounded, well-optimized version of the game. Because, to be honest, the 360 version was kind of... I want to say... pushed out the door pretty quickly to try and get it out... you know, within the first six months of that console's life, life cycle. It was a really early 360 game. <laughs> and, of course, the PS3 version came out the, a year later. So, uh, I did already start a game yesterday just to test it and see how this game runs. It runs okay. Some of you may have already noticed this is not a 60 frames a second video. It's just a standard, good old fashioned 30 frames a second. Because this game does not run at 60. So recording it at 60 would be pointless. Um, so I thought I'd save myself some hard drive space and some upload time by recording it only at 30. Look at some options. 
We're going to have default difficulty, subtitles on, crosshairs on, save and rest on, save and wait on, save and travel on. Okay, here are your video options. That's all your video options. Here are your control options. <laughs> It's all the options they give you for controls. You cannot remap the buttons at all, I don't think, in this. Okay. I'm just going to start a new game. You ready? Here we go. I'm just going to also fade out my little video as well, so goodbye. Now, this game does load faster than the 360 version but it's uh, some of the load times still still a little bit rough still I was born 87 years ago for 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's Emperor but for all these years I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. And here we go. Okay, so yeah, Patrick Stewart there doing a pretty good performance. So mm, here's our character. We can rotate with the right stick. Getting a little bit of screen tearing, um, I noticed. I'm not sure how much of that is coming through on the recording. Hopefully, not a lot. Let's see. I in these games, I've always liked playing as elves. And oh Jesus Christ, the elves in these game in, in this game in particular are kind of ugly, especially the wood elves, which is sucks because I like playing as the wood elves. Like, what the fuck is going on with the wood elf? Like giant noses, massive cheekbones, like. Uh, uh. <sighs> Clan folk of Western Valen Wood forests, also known as Bosma. Wood Elves are nimble and quick, making them good scouts and thieves. There are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. Their ability to command simple creatures is well known. Alright, so I like playing as Wood Elves. For that reason, archers. So, we're going to go with a Wood Elf. And we're going to call her a name I give every single um, Bethesda RPG character. It's just a tradition for me. Oh crap, hang on. A little bit of latency on the uh, button inputs here. Huh. Uh, far. 
Farron. There we go. Your name is Farron. Hello, Farron. Right. Face. Let's sort that mess out. Actually, first, let's reduce your age a bit. You look, you look like you're in your 50s right now. Make you a little bit younger. Let's say early 30s, maybe. Late 20s, early 30s, we could say. Yeah. Okay. Shape of your face. Let's see. Face, brow, nose, chin ratio. Bring your face up a little bit. Forehead. Not exactly sure what that is changing. Hmm. Oh god. Ugh. Let's go for a medium. A medium face. Round or gaunt? Make her quite gaunt. Oh god, another. Just, what, is, what is wrong with your skull? It's kind of difficult to make a good looking character in this game. I always thought that at the time. Like, when this game came out, it, what looked amazing, it set a new standard for graphical fidelity and production values, but fucking hell, the characters all looked ugly. <laughs> There's like a weird bulginess to the faces. Let's just go with normal, normal face width. Let's lower the brow a little bit. Okay. Get rid of that brow ridge. Have you look more like a normal person? Cheeks, cheekbones. Let's bring those. Horrific cheekbones. In a little bit. Oh god. Yep. Just there we go. That looks better. Yeah, fuller featured. You look almost normal. Concave convex. Let's bring out those cheeks a little bit. Just make them a little bit flatter. There we go. Mmm. Oh my god. Let's, let's have a look a little bit gaunt. Chin. About there. Chin pronounced or recessed. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh, that is a... Now that is a chin. No, no, we don't want a chin that big. A prominent chin, but nothing too... Too ridiculous. That's about good. Shallow, deep, it's about good. Let's reduce the chin a little bit more. Yeah, there. Perfect. Eyes. Move the eyes up. Move the eyes... yeah. You can make the eyes big. Or rather, the eyeballs big. Giant eyeballs. <laughs> It's about average. Oh god. Oh. 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 Ouch. Right in the genetics. No. Bring those back in. Bring those back in. Alright. Forehead. Uh, bring that forehead in a little bit. Tall, short. Okay. Bring the top of her face out a little bit. A little bit more normal proportions, let's say. Jaw. Let's give her a... Actually, no, let's, let's give her a bit more of a prominent jawbone. There we go. Here we go. A bit more of a 
Go on, look to her face, suck in some of that face fat. Mouth. Hmm. She's not a happy person. Nope. Let's bring her out a bit more. There we go. That looks good. I don't like how moving some sliders move other sliders. Never did like that. It makes it very difficult to create exact, exact uh, characters. Lips. You flip those lips a little bit. You're not doing a duck face. Eh, that looks about fine. Puckered, retracted, protruding, retracted. Tilt up, tilt. Now nah, looks back fine. Underbite, overbite. Nose. That is a big honking nose. Let's bring that in a little bit. Just a little bit. Ugh. Just, a, just a. Not too much though, because you look. You end up looking like Michael Jackson. Um. Mm. Tilt the nose down a bit. Oh, whoa. Flickering. Hmm. Nose, nostrils, small or large. Let's give it some bigger nostrils. Just a slight adjustment. Let's say. No idea what this is. What what is happening here? What is what is even happening? Hmm. Shallow deep. Hmm. Okay. Seems about right. Skin tone. Oh, beard. Uh. Change some of the skin tone around her face. I have no idea what this is changing on her nose. Make her look a bit more pale. Okay. Eyebrows. Darker eyebrows. Thicker eyebrows. This is not a high-class lady. If she was, she wouldn't be in this mess that she is now. Uh, slightly pale skin. Beard, of course. <laughs> no. Um, hmm. Okay. Hair. What hair do we want? Cropped. Caught. Winds. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wind braids. I quite like the the wind braids. Problem is, not a lot of hairstyles in this game go well with big ears. As you see, most of them clip through the ears. And most of the ones that don't clip through the ears look weird, like this one. Oiled. Rogue knot. Military. Natural. Loose. Ponytail. I think I'm going to go for wind braids. Grey. Satin blonde. Grey. Charcoal. Let's go like a silvery colour. Right. Blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, blue eyes. 
Brown eyes. Whatever. Complexion. Oh, Jesus Christ. Her whole shape of her head just changed. What happened there? That was weird. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like it. It's very difficult to make a character in this game that just does not look horrifying, so... I think this is a okay attempt. It's not perfect, but I'm willing to live with it. We're not really going to see much of her face anyway. Yes, I want to be a wood elf. Alright. Yes, I know. So this game's pretty great. You can walk into things. Physics. That was a big deal back then. You could just walk into stuff and it moved. Kick things off tables. Well now, a pretty little wood elf. You're a little far from the forest, huh? Looks like your days of woodland frolicking have come to a tragic end. To go from the gladed realm of Valenwood to a rat-infested hole like this. How very sad. Those walls must feel like they're closing in on you. Pretty soon you'll go mad. And the guards will cut your throat just to stop the ranting. That's right. You're going to die in here, Wood Elf. Die. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Boris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. What a pleasant man. They're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. No sign of position. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I have seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I am your Emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Don't try. Looks like this is your lucky I'm day. I'm watching. Just stay out of our way. Alright, so we're just going to follow the Emperor, I guess. And the guards are going to be okay with that. Yeah, sorry about the screen tearing if that's coming through. I hope hope it's not. Keep quiet and stay out of the way. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Ooh. Shit is going down. My sword for the dragon. Protect yourself. The captain's down. Ah. 
I have no weapon. I join you, but all I've got is uh, all I've got is me guns. Are you all right, Cyan? We're clear for now. Captain Reno. She's dead. Sorry, Cyan, but we have to keep moving. Okay. How could they be waiting for us here? Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, Cyan. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Oh, really? So yeah, tutorial time. So, square button to uh, ready or put away your weapons. R1 to attack. L1 to block. Pretty simple. Let's... Take this dude, oh wow, take his katana and this torch. So you can press circle to enter your inventory or your character screen. This is our character. Note that we, uh, we can't edit the way our body looks. We can only create the face. The game gives us a, like a default body. So we have not uh, assigned a birth sign or a class yet, that will come later. Okay, so you can press left and right on the D-pad to change tabs, see our strength, you see, basically you can see our overall stats here, luck, personality, endurance, speed, agility, willpower, intelligence and strength. Uh, individual skills, everything starts pretty low, but they get higher as as you use stuff you know which at the time was a pretty cool idea in some basic um, statistics all right L1 and R1 to switch between categories so inventory let's equip the sword and the torch we have uh, some spells already because we started as an elf, so we have a natural affinity to magic. So what we can do, we can attach this to a hotkey by holding down the triangle button and then tapping a direction on the D-pads. So up on the D-pad gives us fire, down on the D-pad gives us healing. And then our passive effects uh, resist disease because we are a wood elf natural disease resistance and if we tab over one more time we can see the map which is not very useful at the moment at least not in these enclosed areas once we get out into the world this becomes a lot more useful alright fuck up this rat okay Take delicious rat meat. It's a shame you can't take this guy's armor. At a, uh, a later point in the game, you can get this armor, but right now it's it's kept from you. And we can rob these guys. See if them are carrying anything useful. Potion of sorcery, potion of healing. All right. I should mention that the three bars you see in the bottom left corner are. Uh, in descending order, health, mana, and in, uh, and uh, stamina. Stamina depletes as you attack or jump. See, oh, or fatigue rather. And your uh, MP goes down as you use spells, obviously. All right. If you hold down the attack button, you do a strong attack. So depending on which direction you're holding at the time, the attack will change. And see, my blade skill increased. And my sword is red with blood right now. Wow. So. I'm going to actually unequip that torch because I like to play these games sneakily. 
So I click in the left stick, and that lets me just sneak around. You can tell I'm sneaking because that little eye icon appears in the middle of the screen. And it's transparent, which means I'm hidden. If it turns bright and opaque, it means I've been spotted. What have we got here? A dude. Got a leather shield, bow. Hmm. Could have had some lock picks. Oh, look at that. Lock picks. How about that? What a handy coincidence. What's in this bag? Nothing. All right. Okay, sweet. So yeah, left stick to move the pick, and then you, it's a timing thing. You've got to time it. So when the tumbler gets to the very top, tap the X button, and it opens. There's some goodies in there. What are you? Ooh, a goblin shaman. Chameleon, flash bolt, key, more lock picks. Sweet. Yeah, I know how to cast a spell already. Don't need to do that. See if we can get a couple of sneak points. Come on. Yep, see? As we successfully sneak, our sneak stats go up and we get better at sneaking. Which is what we want. I'm going to blast this guy with some fire. Suck it, rat. Delicious rat meat. Arrows. Uh, not, not really into heavy armor. I want to play this as like a thief or an archer, so I'm going to stick to light armor. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to equip the bow. Because I like playing as an archer in these games, always have. Shit. Suck it, rat. Give me your precious meat. Zombie. Slightly more harder to deal with enemy. Zombies, however, are weak to fire magic, I believe. Yummy. So what affects your stealth is, is how fast you're moving, how heavy your armor is, uh, how illuminated you are. So if I was to walk into that brightly illuminated area, I'll be much easier to spot. But because I'm sticking to the shadows, it's harder, harder for enemies to detect me. I don't believe line of sight actually has an effect. Doesn't matter what direction these rats are facing, I believe. 
they could be looking right at me, but as long as I'm concealed in shadows. I think proximity also has an effect, like they're more likely to detect me if I'm moving close to them. Oh, motherfucker! Little shit! Little fucker bit me! Oh well. Sorcery, more lock picks. Goody goody. Oh shit. Ugh, yeah. Bows are a little bit awkward once enemies are just up on you. MP does slowly um, come back over time, but it's very slow, so if you're in the middle of a fight and you run out of MP, it's best to take a potion. What have we got around here? More sneaking. Fucking hell. Suck it, rat. Eat fire. See if I can retrieve that arrow. Yep. Nice. Nope. Ha! Blast them out of the air. Always fun. Always good fun. Ooh, we've got a lettuce, free lettuce, free tomato, cheese wedge, iron shield, no that's heavy armour, I don't want heavy armour. What's this? Chest, some gold. Can we get another sneak point? That would be really nice if we can. It's good to just uh, grind some uh, sneaking points early on. Because as you level up, enemies get better at detecting, so you need to make sure you're keeping your sneak skill up. Fuck you, rat. Sweet. I think that's all the enemies around here. Mmm, delicious rat meat. What are you? Nope, junk item. Sweet. Okay. I can't remember if there's more than one rat in this room. Uh, I think it might just be the one. Yeah, it's probably just the one. What's in here? Mystery barrel. Ale. Woo. Hell yeah. Let's get liquored up. Let's get wasted.
Oh, hello. Can I get another sneak point out of this guy? Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Ugh. Right. Let's heal that. It's always good to uh, try and get some experience in, in the spells whenever you can. Hello. Do you see what I see? Ruby. Silver goblet. That'll be good. Vendor. Fodder later on. Yeah, I know about the hot king. We've already seen that. So yeah, if you um, go to your inventory or magic screen and hold down the triangle button, you can add things to a, a quick select circle so you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards between the game and your inventory to switch between commonly used weapons and spells. I think we're about to see our first goblin. Not just yet. What's this? Stink horns. Nah. I've never really been good or into the alchemy system in this game. I feel like they did a much better job with the alchemy stuff in Skyrim than they did here. The alchemy feels very... I don't know, it's not... It's a bit... Yeah, it's similar, but it's it feels very... not useful. Like, you really have to dedicate yourself to doing it in this game. They don't encourage you to do it like they do in Skyrim. Okay. Entering the realm of goblins. So you're sn hmm. It's the sneak tutorial. Yes, I've already already know how. See, there he is. So sneaking, your sneak stats don't increase unless there is an enemy nearby. So doing this around an empty cave all day will give you nothing. And my next door neighbor has just decided to start hoovering. Great, fantastic. Hope, I hope you can't really hear that. See if we can get a couple more sneak points out of this guy. He's about there he is. Yeah, there he is. Potion of illness. Mortar and pestle. Come on. Yeah, there has to be an enemy around, and you have to be moving in order to actually level up your sneak. Standing still, or moving around an empty cave does nothing. Come on, one more sneak point out of you, please. There we go, that's what I want. Suck it. Hmm. Delicious rat meat. Thank you. dude over there, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tripwire in front of him. 
See if I can set this trap off and kill him without him seeing me. I need to be able to see. post where the wire is attached so I can hit it with an arrow and activate it but I'm going to have to get pretty close to him in order to do that shit ah I see it there it is hit the post and that should activate the trap Suck it. Eat a dick, goblin. Of course, you don't get any uh, combat experience for killing enemies like that, but, you know, it's fun. A fur shield. Ooh. Very nice. There's another trap. The log roll. These pile of logs all just piled up on the top of a slope like this. And there are two goblins at the bottom of the said slope. So if I can sneak up on the log pile and activate it, I might be able to take out two more goblins. Oh, they've seen me. Oh, I got one of them, I got both of them. Suck it. Okay. Nothing but easy chests. Always useful. Thank you very much, Mr. Goblin. All right, moving on. I think we're cut. Coming up to the end of this tutorial section soon. Not a lot more going on. It's a pretty big area, this, though. Leather shield? Nah. Two or three more guys in this room. What's my current um, sneak stats? Sneak is at 23. Ooh, if I can get to 25, I can become an apprentice of sneak. And that will give me extra uh, bonuses. So I'll just walk around this room for a little bit. There's a guy over there. There's a guy over there. And I believe there's a guy down here. Oh, there's also a rat. There he is. Come on, just give me one more point. One more sneak point, that's all I want. Come on. 
any second now. There we are. <sighs> An apprentice of sneaking. Now do extra damage while attacking. Nice. As long as they don't detect me. Now three times damage instead of two. Almost. Get a good clean shot at this guy from over here. There's a guy over there as well. But I can't really get a good shot at him just yet. He's, he's behind some rocks. Don't like the um, sensitivity of the sticks. The sticks have a massive dead zone, which I am not a fan of. I missed twice. Once. Twice. Three times a lady. Hammers are useful. They're good for repairing equipment. Right, I don't think there's any more goblins in this area. Oh, that one was just a pet. He wasn't attacking anyone. Oh well, he's dead now. Okay. What have we got? Goblin Witch. Ooh, Soul Gem and a Flawed Ruby. Nice. There we go. Oh, chest. More arrows and some lockpicks. Nice. Alright, moving on. Time to catch up with the Emperor. Wrong spell equipped. Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Whoop. Get her. Hello. She might be working with the assassins. No, she is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. As you wish, sire. Come closer. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Hmm. What's our opinion of the gods? Do we respect the gods? Are we antagonistic to the gods? Or do we just not care? I'm going to say we're antagonistic. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Alright, now we get to choose our star sign. So, uh, choosing your star sign can give you bonuses 
depending on which one you choose. So let's see, The Apprentice. Um, it's a pretty dumb one because you get you get a hundred percent MP point bonus, but you take double damage, which is hilarious. Um, that's permanent, by the way. Once you activate this, you can't change it. Will power and endurance. 50 points to magic, 10 point bonus to agility, speed, and luck. Let's see. Uh, 25% weakness to fire, but 90 points to health. Yep. Uh, that's quite a useful one if you want to be like a, a thief or an assassin. Like you can just use once a day. There's just a spell you have that lets you turn invisible, perm like 100% invisibility for a minute. That's really useful. Um, hmm, that's one of the more interesting ones. Let's go with the shadow. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the shadow shall hide you from destiny's cunning hounds. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Hmm. Mythic Dawn, eh? Ooh, potion of fire shield. Hmm. I'm going to, uh equip a close quarters weapon for this because I feel like this is going to be more more useful you may as well make yourself useful here carry this torch and stick close we're the Emperor's bodyguards our job is to get him out of situations like this although I admit things are not going according to plan my job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive and I intend to do it all right then Stick close and let us do our job. We'll be over. Let's re equip that torch. Get rid of one of them. We don't need two torches. Oh, frame rate took a healthy drop when I equipped this light source. <laughs> Ooh, chest. Hold up, guys. I have looting to do. Protect the Emperor! I'm trying, but you're in the way. The for the Emperor! The My for the Empire! Oh. Oh well. Where? Oh, hello. Don't. The Emperor's in danger. I'm... Hmm. Yeah, this, this, the combat in this game has not aged well at all. It's very clumsy. Even more so than in Skyrim. 
you can it's very easy to accidentally hit your uh, allies when you don't mean to Open door to the sanctum. That's for a later thing, I suspect. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Someone's going to die. Looks clear. Come on. Uh -huh. We're almost sure. through to the sewers. Nuts. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For, For the, the Emperor! Emperor! Where? For the Emperor! I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. Stranger, For the blade. you chose a and bad day to take on Oblivion takes you. The amulet of That's not smart. Oblivion take you. Oof, he was fucking me up. Good thing I've got this uh, healing spell. Uh, you're dead. I can't sell your katana, so it's no point in taking it. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey? He said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Oh, thank you very much. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced agent. Am I right? Alright, sick. Okay. Time to choose a class. Acrobats, so... Class is a bit more important than star sign. Um, it basically determines 
which of your skills are the easiest to level up. So, for example, if you choose an archer, uh, obviously the, the major skills, they level up faster than all the other skills. So, depending on what you're hoping to be, there's quite a few here. Sneak, Acrobatics, Marksman, Light Armor, Mercantile, and Speechcraft. I like Thief. Or we could choose... Thief, Assassin, Archer. Light Armor, Hand-to-Hand, -hand, Blunt, Sneak, Blade, Marksman. I'm going to go with Sneak. Or thief, rather. Thief. Or we could create a custom class, but... Nah. Ooh, witch Hunter. That's an interesting one. Thief. Nah. Done. Yes, I do want to be a thief. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Sure. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Ah, I wanted to keep the sword. Alright, in that case, I'm going to steal your sword. Oh. Your sword disappeared. Well, that sucks. Leave the Emperor in peace. Yeah, don't loot the Emperor's body. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh well. Time to go. is coming to an end now. This is the final stretch of the uh, the tutorial. Just a little short period of sewers and that's it. And then we're out into the world finally. Equip some fire because we're probably going to need it. Really? Yeah. Fucking what? Oh, for God's sake. Oh well. Take his dagger. We need a hand to hand weapon now that we've had our sword taken from us. So let's just... So you see our skills have been separated into major skills and minor skills. You can still level up the minor skills, it just takes more time. Whereas uh, major skills, they tend to increase at a faster rate. So let's try and get up to level 50 while we're here. Let's get a few more points, see if we can get to 50. Become a journeyman of sneak. Because that would be really, really good at this point in the game.
58. No, sorry, 48. It is going up, definitely going up. Just gotta just walk around a bit more, grind this sneak out. Almost there, three quarters. Forty nine, one more, and then we we'll get the hell out of here. Third of the way there. Doop de doo. I'm sure this is thrilling, uh, a thrilling video to watch. Just this guy just strafing in circles next to a goblin, grinding a sneak meter. Yep. But this is this is the way you play this game. This is this is what people did. <laughs> this was this was the best way to grind your sneak stat. There we go. And I should rest and meditate from what I've learned. That means we've also gone up a, a level as well, which is good. A journeyman of sneaking. The weight of your boots no longer affects your ability to remain undetected. Sweet. Eat a dick. Oh. Hmm. Short sword. Nah. Ooh, garlic and a silver nugget. Goodies. What was that? Gold coin. Really don't like how mm, just huge the dead zone is on these analog sticks. I feel like I have to... It's like, it's like a third of the sticks entire travel distance is just dead zone. Which is annoying when you're trying to fine-tune your aiming. I think that's it. Oh no. Suck it, rat. That's it. Alright, sick. Let's get out of here. What's this? Nope, can't go through the gate. Oh well, no biggie. So you got a last chance if you want to edit your character, birth sign or class, but if you're happy with what you've picked, and I am, we can get out of here. And we're out into the big wide world. Fabulous. Alright, that'll be the end of this video. Um, how long, uh, how many, or rather how long I'm, I'm going to take this series, who knows? This is just a, like a fun thing for me, I don't know. It might, it might go f for many, many episodes, or it might just last a couple, or this might be the only one. Who, who can tell? Who can tell? Anyway, thank you for joining me in playing Oblivion, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.